Hello there, it's Dr. Jim. My topic today, Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, okay? Mm -hmm. This is one neurodegenerative disorder that does not seem to get a lot of attention. Despite this, it's one of the top 10 most common neurodegenerative disorders that we are aware of. So it occurs around the world, it occurs in the United States, it's in the top 10. So why isn't it getting the attention that it deserves? Well, let's take a look at what it is. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is a chronic memory disorder caused by a severe deficiency in thiamine or vitamin B1. It is most commonly caused by long-term alcohol use, most commonly caused. But there are other causes, which include AIDS, certain types of cancer, chronic infection, poor nutrition, malabsorption, and sometimes it can occur after bariatric surgery. The Wernicke, so it's two, it's Wernicke, Korsakov. The Wernicke part of the disorder relates to an episode of encephalopathy or acute brain reaction to a severe lack of vitamin B1. The Korsakoff portion of the disorder refers to the amnestic issue, meaning an inability to learn new information and problems recalling things from the past, amnesia. The disorder is named after Sergei Korsakov, the Russian neuropsychiatrist who discovered it in the late 1800s. We've known about this disorder for a long, long time. Of course, we've discovered more truths and facts about it most recently. Here are some causes. It's largely known that this disorder damages the brain. It's unknown. It's, it's largely unknown how it does. What is known, on the other hand, is that severe thiamine deficiency disrupts biochemicals responsible for storing and retrieving memories. That's important. Brain disruptions include destruction of brain cells, microscopic bleeding, and the formation of scar tissue. Some researchers believe it may be genetic to a degree. It does appear that nutrition is a risk factor and excessive alcohol misuse and overuse is another major risk factor. Korsakoff syndrome might be associated with other non-alcohol related disorders, including anorexia, stringent dieting, fasting, starvation, weight loss surgery, uncontrolled vomiting, AIDS, kidney dialysis, chronic infection, and various types of spreading cancers. Now the symptoms, while many symptoms may be a part of the clinical picture, there are a few that are most commonly seen. One of the most typical is the inability to learn novel or new information. Another is the inability to recall recent events. Long-term memory gaps, confabulation, which means making up stories because of my memory being poor, and hallucinations are also symptoms of this disorder. Treatment. Now, there's good news and bad news when it comes to treatment of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. When it's treated, here's the good news, up to 25% of people recover, 50% of people improve, and 25% of people at least go unchanged and do not necessarily uh, get worse. The bad news is when it goes unnoticed and untreated, 20% or one out of every five individuals will die of Korsakoff, of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. Around 85% of people with Wernicke disorder do advance to the Korsakoff set of symptoms and portion of the disease. The main forms of treatment, thiamine supplements, injectable thiamine, 
Magnesium is also used as a treatment. There are no specific drugs or medications for Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, but other psychiatric and psychotropic drugs can be used to treat co-occurring conditions like depression and insomnia. So here's my takeaway. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is one of the top 10 neurodegenerative disorders, but seems to get little attention. Is it due, it is due mostly, I should say, to the overconsumption of alcohol over long periods of time. Now, here's a big question that I have. Is it possible that if alcohol-related disorders, alcoholism, alcohol use and abuse, misuse, if those rise during certain societal crises, global problems, mass unemployment, might we see an increase in Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome? That's something to keep our eyes on in the near future and, of course, moving out even further. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. If you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. Um, share this video and my blog with your friends and your colleagues. I would greatly appreciate that as well. My name's Dr. Jim. I'm out of time, but I'll see you soon.